Well, a transgender means you come out as a little girl or a little boy, and then they started, hey, I don't feel like I'm a girl at all. So they come out as a girl and then are raised as a boy, or come out as a boy and raised as a girl. My father is transgender, so that's what's really special about him. My mother, I'm happy that she gets to be happy, so it's super special for her. I came out as trans when I was 26 years old. I was married before in a lesbian relationship that essentially dissolved because of my transition. I lived a full adulthood being a woman prior. I identify as being in the gray area, I guess. I feel masculine, I feel feminine. I'm not a boy or a girl. I was previously married with Claire's biological father. We separated in 2015. Claire and I were on our own pretty much up until we met Emerson. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. I never thought that I would ever be seen as like a father figure to anybody, but obviously that was a dream of mine. I remember the first time she ever called me daddy. I was putting her to bed. I was like, hey, if you need me or something, just like call for me and I'll, I'll be there. So one small guy, one big guy, it's me and it's you. She's like, okay, I'll just yell out, daddy, really loud and you'll come running. And I was like, and I like, remember I was like, my heart like dropped. So for sexuality and gender, essentially everything in our house is fluid. Fluid meaning that anyone can like anyone, and we encourage her to be open to any type of relationship, whether it be with male identifying, female, queer, bi, whatever. I think it's important to speak to children about these aspects. For example, both of us were put into a box as a girl from birth and we have these expectations that are thrown at us. And I think that boys and girls both have these expectations that society places on them and they are disruptive. And I think that you are unable to truly find yourself within those boxes mm -hmm. for a lot of people. <laughs> What's kind of different about me that sometimes kids don't do is about my clothing and my hair. Sometimes I wear like a girl shirt or boy pants. So I made a picture. It says um, a boy self right here, girl self right here. So I said boy, girl, girl self, and boy style because that's what I do. Because these are in the boy section. And sometimes in my class, I have some girl clothes. Claire, daddy's going to do a shot now. Every Tuesday in a week, he has to take a shot. He'll sit down on the chair and my mom will stab his leg usually, and I always do the Band-Aid. What essentially is happening is I'm introducing testosterone into my system for it to pretty much give me a second puberty type scenario. So every week I have to keep injecting myself with the testosterone or else my body will naturally go back and take away kind of a lot of my changes that I've worked so hard to obtain. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah? Okay. One, two, three. Now? Perfect. That was a good one. <laughs> I think the main uniqueness that we have is our openness of being queer and our our desire to raise our child without any bounds. So you are a girl, you must be like this, mm -hmm. or you are a boy, you must be like this. That doesn't exist in our house and it never will. So we really like to make sure our child knows that however she feels to express herself, just like us, it's ever growing and ever changing. And we really encourage that exploration. It's really special about my father 
that he is transgender and all I know that she's transgender. We were really raising her just to be open, to be however she wants to be without any need for a label or identity and that she will in time discover who she is just as we have.